of just opening up down the sides, ooh, the chest, and getting a bit of those sort of shapes going on. So to begin with, I'm gonna ask you all if you have uh, blocks, um, have them nearby, if you don't have blocks, toilet paper, the golden rolls, have those, can be good uh, instead of blocks, and a pillow, if you have a pillow, and maybe even a blanket for the very end. Um, allow yourself to sit up tall. I quite like sitting on a pillow to begin with. And then allow your uh, ears to be over your shoulders, your shoulders to be over your ribs, and your ribs to be over your hips. And then take a few breaths to let yourself start to settle in. Settle into your space, into this time that we have together. And take a few breaths. Let yourself just soften into the breath. Maybe let your eyes close. I'm just grabbing my phone to make sure that I'm not messing up and nobody's trying to message me and tell me. So let your eyes close. Try to keep that stacking of the ears, shoulders, ribs, and hips. And that might feel a little bit like you're leaning back slightly, but if, uh, if you're doing it well, and you do feel like you're leaning back, it might just feel that way because you're so used to hunching forward. So let yourself engage that, and you might use a little bit more of your core. That's fine. And then start to bring your right ear toward your right shoulder. And then let your shoulders soften down your back. Maybe even bring your hands down by your sides and a little bit behind your hips. And that will encourage a bit of an external rotation, a little bit of drawing down and back of the shoulder blades. And then draw your nose and chin down as if you're trying to sniff your armpits. And that'll bring a little bit more sensation down into the traps, uh, maybe even a little bit into the, the muscle, the sternocleidomastoid, the SCM that goes from basically your jawline to your collarbone. And then press the back of your head back a little bit as if you're leaning back and that makes it a little bit more intense again. That's just gonna hopefully help us open up a little bit more space into an area that we tend to tense and tighten a lot. Now start to bring your chin forward, lift your nose back to neutral, and then bring your head back to center. So the same steps we took to get there, we take to get out. Move to the other side, bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Ooh, this one's a lot tighter than the other side for me. Try to keep your shoulders softening down your back. And then turn your chin and your nose downward toward your armpit. And then lean your head back a little bit. Like you're pressing your head against something behind you. head back forward, tilt your nose and chin back to center, and then lift your head back up through center. Hi everybody, I can see some people showing up now. And then just take a few rolls of the shoulders, roll them onto your back nicely. I can't see what you're writing because the computer's too far away, so I'm sorry, but hi! Roll your shoulders around, and then roll them the other way. start to bring your arms out and up. Take a deep breath in, feel that expanse of your body, and then as you exhale, lower your arms back down by your sides. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, lower your arms down to your sides. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. And as you exhale, twist toward your left. Bring your right hand to your left knee and your left hand back behind you. And try to keep that same vertical length in your spine. Keep that same vertical length in your spine as you twist slightly to the left. Try to 
reach your left shoulder blade back a little bit more. And reach up through the crown of your head. Slowly come back through center and cross your legs the other way. Take a few breaths, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach down. One more inhale to reach up. And then exhale, twist to the right. Bring your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you and reach your right shoulder blade back. Hey, Hannah. If anybody wants to message Carrie, she doesn't know how to do this. <laughs> reach your right shoulder blade back. Inhale, length around your spine. Reach it up. And then exhale to twist a little bit further. And then slowly start to untwist yourself. Come back to center. And then reach your arms out to the sides. Take a deep breath in. Press your the backs of your hands back. And as you exhale, round. Like you're giving yourself a great big hug. And then inhale to open up. Lift your chest forward and reach your knuckles back and exhale round and actually give yourself a hug. Inhale to open up and then let your arms come back the other way. Exhale. Inhale to open up one more time each side. Exhale, wrap your arms. Inhale to open up and exhale, wrap the other way. Come back to center. Sweep your legs around. And come into a hands and knees position, please. And from hands and knees, spread your fingers nice and wide. Have your knees underneath your hips and your wrists under your shoulders. And take an inhale into cow pose. Let your belly lower. Reach your shoulder blades back down towards your bum. Exhale, round your spine like a Halloween cat and gaze between your thighs. Inhale, lower your belly. Lift your gaze. Widen your collarbones. Exhale, round your spine, push the floor away from you. One more inhale to lower your belly. Exhale, round your spine. And then come back to a neutral spine. Keep that natural shape in your, in your back so you're not rounding or lowering the low back. And then draw your low belly in and up, draw your ribs up. And then keep your hips and your shoulders as level as you can and start to reach your right arm and left leg out and maybe even up a little bit. It doesn't matter how high up, but try to keep those hips and shoulders level with each other. Reach your limbs as far away from each other as you can. And then resist the urge to twist in either direction. Keep both sides of your waist long. One more breath here. And then lower back down. Reach your left arm and right leg out. Lift them up. Keep your shoulders and hips as level as you can. It's difficult sometimes without a mirror or something to look at to notice if you are. But give it a go, your best shot. And then exhale back down. Back to the other side, reach your arms out and then up. Keep your ribs drawing in and up. Lower down and in. And then the left side, reach out and up. And then down and in. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back and come into a downward facing dog. Pedal your heels nice and slowly, maybe wiggle your bum a little bit, get a little bit sassy with that booty. And then push your chest towards your thighs. Reach your inner thighs back until it feels like you're spreading your butt cheeks apart. Take an inhale and roll yourself forward to the top of a push-up into a plank pose. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale forward to your plank. Exhale to dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale to dog. One more inhale to plank. And this time hold here. And try to keep the sides of your waist long. And imagine you're trying to hold something with your armpits. So wrap your armpits down and toward each other like you're trying to hide 
something inside your armpits. And then reach your pubic bone and tailbone evenly toward your heels until you're not rounding in the low back or lifting in the low back. It's just a neutral S-shaped curve of the spine like you normally have. Hold for one more breath here and then place your knees down and start to walk your chest down toward the ground. If you can't reach your chest to the ground, you can place it on a pillow or you can stack your forearms, but coming towards a puppy dog pose with your bum in the air and your chest on the ground. And then hold here for two more breaths. One more breath. And then stack your forearms once again. Lift yourself back up. Start to bring your hands underneath you. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips back. Come into downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward to meet your hands at the front of your mat in a standing forward fold. If you don't have a mat, don't worry about it. Just wherever you're practicing. Put a little bit of softness in your knees so you can fold nice and heavy and grab opposite elbows or let your hands just drag along the floor and sway a little bit side to side. Come back to center and to the count of eight. We're going to roll up to standing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your shoulders on to your back. Oh, I've lost my head in the screen. Sorry, guys. And from the top of your mat, take a deep breath in. Reach your arms all the way up. And then exhale to fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Step your right leg back to the back of your mat. Place your right knee down. And then inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Place your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers. And as you exhale, reach your elbows back, lift your chest forward and up. Take another breath in, lift your breastplate higher. And then exhale, place your hands down around your front foot. Inhale, lift your right knee up. And exhale, step back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank pose. Squeeze your armpits like you're holding something with them and then back to downward facing dog. Good. Lift your right leg to the air as you inhale. Try to keep your hips as level as you can. And then exhale, bring your right foot to your right thumb. Place your left knee down to the ground. And then take an inhale and reach your arms forward and up. And as you exhale, hands behind your head, reach your elbows back, lift your chest up. As your chest lifts up, try to reach your pubic bone forward more. So there's more space in your low back, but you also might feel more space open up in the front of that back thigh. And then reach your arms all the way up and down, place them around your front foot. Lift up your back knee and step forward as you exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale to lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale to fold forward. To the count of eight, roll up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Coming to the other side, reach your arms out and up as you inhale. Exhale to hinge at your hips and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your left leg back to the back of your mat. Place your left knee down. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Reach up this time like you're holding a beach ball above your head. Exhale, your hands down around your front foot. Tuck your back toes under, lift your le left knee up, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank pose, wrap your armpits toward each other, hold as you exhale. Keep your ribs drawing in and up, imagine you're wearing a corset and it's just being tightened. Feel that low belly and that rib cage draw toward each other and up. And then exhale to a downward facing dog. Lift your left heel to the sky as you inhale and step forward to your left thumb as you exhale. Place your right knee down. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up. Ooh, it's a bit wobbly. And then exhale here. Lift from your chest, keep that pubic bone rolling forward a little bit. One more breath in. 
and then exhale your hands down around your front foot. Lift up your back knee and step forward as you exhale. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Reach your arms out and up. Come all the way up to standing. Press your palms to the sky. And then interlace your fingers and reach your fingers up. Palms press up. Exhale your hands down to your hips. Stand with your feet underneath you. I know you guys can't see my head, but you can see what's happening in my body. And then lean into your right foot and start to draw your left knee up to your chest and interlace your fingers around your left knee and squeeze it in, but try to keep your ribs and shoulders stacked above your hips so you're not rolling forward or leaning back too much. Take one more breath in and then place your left foot back down. And then stand into your left foot, draw your right knee up to your chest, interlace your fingers around that right shin Keep your shoulders and ribs stacked over your hips. Squeeze your knee and hip in so that there's a deep flexion in those joints. And then place your right foot back down. Stand into your left leg, turn your palms to face forward. Sorry, stand into your right leg. Turn your palms to face forward and then reach your left leg back. Just extend it straight back behind you. Good. I'm going to turn so you guys can see even from the side. So your left leg is right back behind you. And then draw your shoulder blades back a little bit more. Roll your pubic bone forward as much as your heel is reaching back. So it doesn't need to be a big movement. Take one more breath like this. And then place your foot back down. Good. Shift your weight to your left foot. Stand in your left foot. Shine your palms forward. And then reach your right heel back. Reach your hands back with your palms facing forward. Roll your pubic bone forward. So feel that bum, get your bum involved. Get your bum involved in that extension of the leg and take another breath in here. Place your right foot back down. Good. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms all the way out and up and exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward once again. Good, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold, step your right leg back to the back of your mat and place your right knee down. Reach your arms forward and up and then this time bring your hands to your hips and then roll your pubic bone forward once again and drag, energize your right knee toward your left heel. So you're not actually moving it but you're having that feeling of reaching your legs toward each other. Pubic bone rolls forward and feel that toning of your abdomen as if you're in a plank pose. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up, and then grab your right wrist with your left hand and arch toward your bent knee. Inhale to come back up through center and release your wrist, and then exhale your hands down around your front foot. Good. Tend your fingertips, lift your chest up, and maybe walk your right knee back an inch or two, and then pull your left hip back. Keep your big toe on the ground, and as your big toe knuckle presses down, imagine there's a, an elastic that goes from that big toe knuckle and stretches all the way back to the outer corner of your left hip, and pull that left hip corner back. Take an inhale to lift your chest forward and long, and as you exhale, fold over that straight left leg. Lift up as you inhale, and bend forward as you exhale. Plant down into your left, sorry, plant down into your right hand and walk your left foot to the left and then point your toes more to the left. And then with your left hand, press against the inner left knee and then push that knee away from you and push your chest away from the knee as if your knee is really stinky. But then don't just laze your pelvis into this, pull your shoulder blades back, but as your shoulder blades pull back, then tone your abdomen Roll your pubic bone forward. Maybe even untuck your back toes and imagine you're trying to drag your back leg forward. Yeah, that brings a little bit more into it, hopefully, for you, if you're doing what I'm asking. And then start to lower your hand back down, walk your back foot back to center, frame your feet with your hands. 
tuck your back to under, lift your back knee up, and then step back to a downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank pose, and then chaturanga, place your knees down first if you need to, and squeeze your elbows back and by your sides to come all the way down and then to your belly, untuck your toes, lift your chest forward and up for a cobra pose, little cobra. So try to keep your shoulders out of your ears as you come into your cobra. And then exhale to push back through hands and knees into a downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale to lift your heels, gaze forward and exhale, step or float to the front of your mat, standing forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Reach your arms out, lead with the back of your head, strong back, come all the way up. Press your palms to the sky, inhale, and then to the other side, exhale, fold forward. Long spine lifts up halfway, inhale, exhale to fold, and then step your left leg to the very back of your mat. Place your left knee down, and then reach your arms forward and up. Energize your back knee toward your front heel until your inner thighs feel like they're getting closer together. Tone your abdomen in and up, and press up from your breastplate. Lengthen through the sides of your waist and open up the space in your low back. Take one more breath in here. Exhale your hands down around your front foot. Come up to tented fingertips. Walk your back knee back a little bit and then pull your right hip back. Keep your big toe glued on the ground and as your big toe is glued down, stretch back from that outer right hip. As you pull back from that outer hip corner, your foot naturally will want to roll onto the pinky toe side. So push against that, push down through the big toe knuckle and really engage into that space that's opening up. Lengthen your spine on an inhale and fold forward as much as you can on your exhale. On your next inhale, bend your front knee, come forward once again, and then place your left hand down on the left side of your mat, walk your right foot to the right, exhale, turn your right toes a little bit to the right, and with your right hand then, press against the inside of your right knee and push your right knee away from you, and reach your chest away from it like it's a really stinky knee. Good, and then rather than dumping the pelvis down toward the mat to just feel that stretch into the pelvis, you're going to add a little bit more spice to it by untucking that back toe and then try to drag your back leg forward until your low abdomen feels a bit more engaged, until your whole body feels a little bit more engaged. Take one more breath in like this and then exhale to release your foot back to center, frame your foot with your hands, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee up, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank pose, maybe keep your knees up or lower them down if you need to, exhale through chaturanga, maybe come to your belly to come up as you inhale, untuck the toes, cobra pose, or if you're feeling like you've got the space in your back, now maybe lift all the way up to an upward facing dog. Whichever you choose, try to keep your shoulders away from your ears so your neck stays long on all sides. One more breath here. And then try to keep your collarbones as wide as they can be. Exhale back to a downward facing dog through hands and knees, through plank, however you need to get there. Reach your chest towards your thighs, reach your inner thighs back. And then Get those heels reaching toward the ground. I've been practicing for almost 20 years now and my heels still don't touch the ground. So don't beat yourself up if you don't look like one of those super fancy Instagram yogi chicks with 10 million followers. Inhale to lift your heels, gaze forward. Bend your knees slightly as you exhale. Step or float to the front of your mat, standing forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale, exhale to fold. 
Roll yourself up to the count of eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders on your back, ears over shoulders, shoulders over ribs, ribs over hips, and hips over heels as best as you can. It's hard to tell without a mirror. And now lean into your right foot. Bend your left knee and with your left hand, grab your left foot. And you might need to bring your leg out to the side or forward a bit to grab that foot. Once you have a hold of that foot, then try to bring your knees back in line with each other and maybe even grab that left foot with your right hand as well. And that's gonna encourage your shoulders to externally rotate. So let your shoulder blades reach toward each other so your chest almost feels like it's sticking out a little bit. And then as your chest sticks out a little bit, pull your ribs toward each other and then pull your pubic bone forward, and then your left knee, your lifted knee, might start to reel, roll forward as well. Pull it back to line it up with your right knee. So your knees are trying to glue together like you're zipping your thighs together. And then slowly release that left foot back down to the ground. Try not to slingshot it down. <sighs> Stand into your left foot. Bend your right knee and then grab your right foot with your right hand. Maybe grab it with your left hand if you have that space. Bring your knees toward each other and then pull your shoulder blades back. Pull your ribs in. Pull your pubic bone forward. Pull your knees together. And then push down with your left foot. Push up with your head. Take one more breath in here. And then with control, release your right foot back down to the ground. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms all the way up and then exhale, hinge your hips and hold, roll, fold, I don't know words, forward, just make this shape. Lift up halfway, fold forward. You may want to have your blocks or toilet rolls under your hands. Step your right leg to the very back of your mat. Keep your right knee lifted. And then inhale to reach your arms forward and up into a crescent lunge. And as you exhale, let your left thigh, try to get as close to parallel to the ground as you can. And your right heel might reach back a bit more. So then inhale to lengthen your spine and press into that back toes. So your heel goes above the toes. And then as you exhale, Pull your right hip forward and your left hip back and maybe bend into that back knee a little bit. Keep your arms reaching up and lengthen the sides of your waist. Lengthen your low back. Take one more breath in here and then turn your back heel down and come into warrior two. I quite like to let my back heel reach back a bit further than the toes and that feels a bit more comfortable in my hips. Bend into your left knee and try to reach it over your middle toe toward the pinky side of your front foot, your left foot. And then reach down to the pinky side of your right foot. So push down through the heels of your feet a little bit more so you feel a little bit more balanced through both feet. Turn your left palm up. Inhale to reach your left arm forward and then up into a reverse warrior. Reach your right arm down your, back, down your right thigh. Good. Deep breath in here. Exhale, try to roll those left ribs back a little bit. One more breath in. And on your exhale, then reach your arms around and place your left forearm on your left thigh. Good, and then pull the thigh skin back with your forearm. Reach your right arm towards the front of the room or around like you're gliding it on ice. And then overhead. And then try to roll your ribs back more, like you're trying to press your ribs to an imaginary wall behind you. Take one more breath in here. Exhale completely. Inhale back up to warrior two. And then exhale, straighten that left leg. Ooh. Yeah. Squeeze your legs toward each other like you're trying to wrinkle up your mat. And then reach your left arm forward, but then not down. Turn your palm up. Bring your right palm to face up and then reach it overhead like you're making a, holding a ball over your head. 
Good. And then pull your ribs back. Pull your ears back. Good. Take another breath in here. Exhale it completely. Inhale to come all the way up. Ah, exhale your hands down to your hips. Bend into your left knee. Pivot your right heel up. And then pull your belly in. Pull your ribs in. Slide your back foot forward to meet your front. There we go. Take a deep breath in. Reach your arms out and up. Exhale. Hinge at your hips. Fold forward. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Step your left leg back to the back of your mat. Good. I'm just going to flip to the other side of my mat so you guys can constantly see me and hear me. Push down through both of your feet and then reach your arms forward and up into a crescent lunge. As you exhale, bend into your front knee more and press into your back toes like you're trying to spring forward. Inhale to lengthen the sides of your waist, lift out of your low back, and as you exhale, maybe bend into your crescent lunge a little deeper. Your back knee might bend, it might not. It's hard to tell in these trousers if you can, can't really see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. On your next exhale, bring your back heel down, your left heel down, reach your arms out for warrior two. Keep your right knee bent and reaching back toward the pinky side of your right foot. And then press down through the pinky side of your back foot until your arches feel like they're lifting a little bit. Deepen your pelvis, deepen your heels of your feet. And then reach forward and turn your right palm up as you exhale, lift your right arm up and back. Lift your left arm, reach your left arm back, down your left thigh. Reverse warrior. Pull your ribs back. Take one more breath in here. And then exhale to sweep all the way around and bring your right forearm to your thigh. And then your left arm stays back. Pull your thigh skin back with your forearm until your collarbones broaden and then reach your left arm in front, around, and overhead until your biceps over your ear. And then pull both sides of your ribs back. Try to deepen into that front thigh a little more. Pull your back ribs back. Press your back ribs into imaginary wall. Take another breath in here. And then exhale to come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Good. Ah, squeeze your legs toward each other. So pull your legs in like you're trying to wrinkle up that mat. And then reach forward with your right arm. Turn your right palm up. And then bring your left arm overhead and hold an imaginary beach ball over your head. And then try to reach it away from you. And then pull your ribs back. Keep squeezing your legs toward each other in and up as so if you can draw all the energy from the soles of your feet up and out through the palms of your hands. Come all the way back up, hands back onto your hips, pivot your back heel up and turn to face the front of your mat, pull your ribs in, tone your low belly, slide your back foot forward to the front of your mat. from the front of your mat. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold. Step back to the top of a push-up into your plank pose. And then hold for your exhale. Hold for your inhale. And then place your left knee down and bring your left shin off to the left. If you're already comfortable in a side plank, then you don't have to worry about that part. Bring your heels down to the left. Reach your right arm up and weigh into your left hand. So you're in a side plank on the left side. Reach up with your right hand and press down through your right foot. And then reach your right arm overhead and push down with your bottom hand until you feel even more arch, like you're the shape of a banana on its side. Inhale, 
Inhale to come up with your arm and then exhale back to your plank pose. Take a deep breath in here and then exhale your right knee down. Bring your right shin off to the right. Lower your left heel down and then reach your left hand up and push down through your right hand, down through your right knee and then reach your left hand overhead into that banana shaped side plank. Inhale your left hand back up and then exhale back to plank pose. Deep breath in here and then chaturanga, knees up or down. Untuck your toes, inhale cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to a child's pose now, knees to the ground, hips to your heels. And then bring your hands back by your heels and rest your forehead on the ground. This one's for Mark. Take three breaths here. Reach your arms forward. Come forward into hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, come into your plank pose. We're gonna do side planks one more time. You can have your knees down this time or not. Bring your big toes to touch so that your feet stack or have your feet hip distance apart so that when you lean to the left, they stagger. Shift your heels to the left, lean into your left hand and then reach your right arm up. So if you're stacking your feet, spread your toes and pull your toes up, like you're flointing your feet, flexi pointing. You've got that dorsiflexion, you've got your feet engaged, push out through the ball of your top foot a little bit more. And then exhale back to your plank. Deep breath in, and then move your heels to the other side, lean into your right hand, reach your left hand up, Spread and flex the toes of your feet. I always do my hands as well. Take one more breath in. And then exhale back to your plank. Deep breath in here. Chaturanga. Come to your bellies this time. Untuck your toes. Meet on your bellies. Roll your shoulders back. Reach your arms back. And then inhale to lift up into a locust pose so your hands reach back toward your heels chest reaches forward and up just like cobra but without the hands and then maybe lift your legs up with straight legs as straight as they can be zip your legs together lift your thighs up or energize your thighs up so I don't even need to lift take one more breath in and then exhale back down to the ground Reach your hands back, palms facing your hips, pinkies up and thumbs down. Roll your shoulders onto your back. Center your forehead onto your mat and then inhale, lift your chest forward and up, breathe into your armpits. Exhale, lift your thighs up. Floink your toes again. And then you can stop here or you can start to bend your knees, bring your heels towards your bum and maybe grab onto your ankles with your hands. And try to keep your inner thighs and your ankles reaching toward each other. It's common to let your knees or your feet flare apart. And then inhale to kick your feet into your hands and pull your hands up. And as you exhale, reach as high as you can. So it's like you're in camel pose on your belly. Bring your inner thighs toward each other a little more. Keep your feet flexed, your toes pointed. One more breath in. And then exhale to slowly lower everything down to the ground. Rest your forehead on the backs of your hands. And take three breaths here. Bring your hands back by your low ribs. Press yourself up and back into a child's pose. Push your hips to your heels. Reach your arms forward or by your heels, whatever feels best for you. 
Let your belly be on your thighs or between your thighs. Just let yourself start to soften and slow down. And then roll yourself up through hands and knees. And bring your legs around in front of you. Maybe sit on a pillow if that's comfortable for you. Sit on the pillow, stretch your legs out in front of you. And then bend your right knee, cross it over your left thigh. Bring your right hand back behind you. And then inhale to lengthen as if your hand is actually pulling your spine longer and higher. And as you exhale, twist to your right and hook your elbow over your knee or just hug your knee in. That can be enough too. Whichever version you feel more comfortable with today. Keep reaching out through your bottom foot and then press your knee and tricep against each other a little bit more. Lengthen as you inhale, twist as you exhale. One more breath in. And then exhale to unwind. Don't uncross your legs yet, but then Grab your knee with your right hand and your ankle with your left, and then maybe make a number four shape, or bring your heel towards your hip and let your knee come down. So it's like a half uh, cow-faced shape. And then reach your arms forward, whichever version you're in, the number four or the half cow. Cross your right arm under your left and either hug yourself Press your forearms together, knuckles together, or press your palms together into eagle arms. And then lift your forearms up, your upper arms up, so your elbows are in front of your face. Push your forearms forward, take a deep breath in, lengthen the sides of your waist, and as you exhale, fold forward as much as you can. I really get that rounding. I quite like feeling like I'm trying to hook my elbows over my knee or shin. here. One more breath. Come all the way back up. Unravel your arms. With your hands, help your top leg untwist. Straighten both legs out. Lean back into your hands and just shake out your legs. Maybe shake out your chest as well. And then come back to center. Bend your left knee, cross it over your right thigh. Bring your left hand back behind you. Inhale to reach up, pull that spine up like you're pulling a chain up. And as you exhale, twist to your left. And either hug your knee or hook your elbow to the far side of your knee. And with each inhale, keep your spine as vertical as you can. Reach it up. And with each exhale, twist maybe a little bit deeper, and it might just feel like a deeper twist to you, and you might never see it. Two more breaths here. Keep reaching energy out your bottom leg, your straight leg. Don't forget that it's there. And exhale to slowly untwist yourself. And with your hands, grab a hold of that top leg and either make that number four shape, ankle over thigh, or bring your ankle toward your right hip and your knee to knee. And then reach your arms forward, wrap your left arm underneath your right, and maybe hug yourself, press your forearms together, or press your palms together. And take a deep breath in to lift your elbows and forearms up, and as you exhale, fold forward. Feel that space between your shoulder blades start to open up a little bit more now.
two more breaths. One more breath. Roll yourself back up. Unravel your arms. Help your top leg to unravel. Straighten your legs out in front of you. Lean back with your hands once again and shake your legs out. Maybe shake your chest out a little bit. And then come on to your mats with your legs bent, feet flat on the ground, and maybe have your pillow, have a pillow or a rolled up towel or blanket nearby. And then lower yourselves onto your backs, please. And as you find yourselves on your backs, just take a few breaths, let yourself settle in onto your back. Bend your knees, place your feet flat on the ground. And then shift your hips to the left side of your mat. Bring your knees up toward your chest and then lower your knees to the right. Bring your arms out to a T shape. Maybe bring your right hand on top of your left knee as a weight if your legs are lifted or open. Just let them relax and become heavy in toward the earth, and toward the ground. Try to remove any strain from this twist. And that might mean taking support from a blanket or a pillow or somebody. Maybe get a family member to just hold you down. <laughs> Even a friendly one. deep breath in and then as you exhale start to bring your knees back up to center place your feet down and recenter your hips bring your knees to your chest and just make a few circles with your knees circle them in opposite directions like little egg beaters change directions place your feet down Bring your hips over to the right side of your mat. Lift your knees up and then over to the left. Let your arms reach out to a T-shape again. And this side might be easier or harder to relax into. Just let yourself feel the pose. Melt into the shape. Allow your body to start settling in. A little bit more with each breath. Finding a little bit more comfort with each breath. deep breath in and as you exhale bring your knees back up through center place your feet down and recenter your bum bring your knees into your chest circle your knees around again like an egg beater and then the opposite direction and then widen your knees and either just hug yourself like this or come towards a happy baby. Break your hands between your thighs, palms over the tops of your feet, and grab the pinky toe sides of your feet. And then show the soles of your feet to the ceiling and pull down a little bit into your feet as much as your feet push up into your hands a little bit. Just a little bit. You don't want to be straining. 
just because you're in the comfort of your home and you can let everything go doesn't mean you need to strain in this very exposed pose. Let yourself just find a bit of ease in this pose. Find that nice, comfortable, happy baby as you roll a little bit side to side. Maybe reach your tailbone down toward the ground a little bit more. And that sort of lengthens the experience. Start to bring your heels together. You can release your hands from your feet. Lower your feet down to the ground. Keep your knees bent and your feet on the ground. And then for one few last few pose for a few breaths, if you have a pillow or a blanket, take that blanket or pillow, whatever you've got. Maybe if you've got blocks or bolsters or props, that's great too. Lift your hips up and place a pillow under your sacrum, so under that flat bit of your low back. If it's a big pillow, then it can just be under you. And just live in that supported bridge pose for a few breaths. Let your hands come down by your sides or rest gently on your belly and your heart. Whatever feels more natural to you. slowly start to lift your hips up to remove the pillow or bolster. You can keep it there if you like to. Allow yourself to start to come down a little bit more toward your Shavasana. And if that's with all of those pillows underneath you, then that's great. You know, otherwise, start to straighten out your legs. Let your arms come down by your sides. Let your eyes close. And let your mind just explore your body and the experience that you're in now. Check back in with yourself. Notice how you're feeling. Notice if there's any last areas of tension that you're holding on to. Anything that's creating a blockage for you. And see if, you've, if your breath and the strength and the stability that you've built can help you remove those blockages and remove that tension to allow yourself to just soften and find ease into the comfort of your Shavasana. Soften your body. Soften your breath. Quiet and soften your heart.
breath to begin to deepen and lengthen. And as you start to feel the deeper, longer breaths, maybe you start to feel the energy of each breath reach down towards your fingers and your toes, allowing you a bit of awareness, a bit of energy, a bit of movement even. Maybe you start to feel your pulse gently quicken as your head rocks softly side to side, lick your lips or roll your tongue over your teeth. And then take a deep breath in and stretch your arms overhead, maybe yawn really big. Exhale out your mouth and soften your body. Inhale, reach nice and long. Let your breath fill your body from fingertips to toe tips. And then exhale, soften once again. Start to bend your knees one at a time, placing your feet on the ground. And then roll onto your right side into the fetal position, using your arms as a pillow. your legs heavy and your eyes closed as much as you can. Use your top hand to press yourself up to a comfortable seat. And as you find yourself at your seat, maybe take support again or just sit comfortably. Or just stay laying down if you want to, that's cool with me. Wherever you are, let yourself just feel that space. Feel your breath start to fill your body again. Inhaling deep down to your belly. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale to the sides of your waist, your ribs, your back expands. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale into your armpits, your chest lifts slightly. Exhale out your mouth. One last long sipping breath in through your nose, slowly breathe in until you're so full from your belly, your ribs, your chest, and you can hold for just a moment at the top just to feel that breath penetrate and then slowly and softly exhale out your mouth. Bring your hands to your heart, look together at your heart center. And give yourself a moment looking inward find a bit of gratitude for what we have, however simple or uh, contained it may seem at the moment, there is still a lot to be grateful for each other, for this virtual community, for our time, for our attention, for our acceptance. Thank you all for sharing all of that with me tonight, or whenever you do this 